so at Pearson, um, we've um, grown threefold since 2013. Uh, we have a team of about almost 700 people now. Um, so as part of the global engineering organization within Pearson, uh, the important thing is quality. That's the key driver for our growth has been the quality of the work that we have done. Uh, we have software uh, product engineering team as well as a technology operations team. So um, we uh, needed to work together and deliver our uh, roadmap uh, for our product platforms. So I would say number one factor is quality and our number two is our ability to uh, build the team, to ramp up the team. So in, in terms of quality, um, what we have done is really um, adopt uh, agile practices um, and roll them out across the organization. Um, and then late, at a later stage, we also um, embraced DevOps practices so that our teams not only think about de delivering a release, but also think about how that those releases and all our software is in the cloud. Uh, or in our data centers in a SaaS uh, offerings. So uh, what we have done is to bring the engineering teams and the operations teams together uh, to work in a DevOps fashion so that focus is not just about the release quality but also about the quality of the experience that our customers are going to have. So that means making sure that we think about how things are going to scale, how things are going to perform, the user experience, uh, and also how we are going to resolve issues uh, if we find them quickly. Yeah. So uh, as a product company, we follow uh, um, um, scaled agile framework, uh, and into that scaled agile framework, we have um, married our best practices so that uh, they happen at the right time. Uh, and, they are, uh, and the important thing is to make sure that they are consistent across all the teams and that we automate as much as possible and that we use the right sort of tools so that those practices are uh, done time and again every time we do a release.